What are you talking about? Your dad never really thought of me as part of the family. All because I'm not a monster. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about the fourth and last Hotel Transylvania Transformania film and decode the ending. But is there a chance the directors already have a plan for Hotel Transylvania 5? This animated movie is such a loud and enjoyable experience, so make sure you stay till the end to know all the details about the last film of this franchise. arrived at our destination. The fourth Hotel Transylvania film was absolutely anticipated as its production was delayed multiple times due to COVID. It has been a long time since Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation was released, back in 2018. It has been a long three years of waiting. It is safe to say that fans couldn't be happier after they finally saw the fourth film's official trailer and the new movie definitely reunited fans with their favorite monsters for an all new new adventure. Huh? <gasps> What's going on? Oh! Huh? My fur! But not only the plot was a new level, the animation quality was top notch. As for the voice cast, it was so great to know that almost all of the actors came back to voice their characters. Some people were happy to hear Adam Sandberg as Johnny Longrun, Selena Gomez as Mavis, Catherine Hahn as Erica Van Helsing, Steve Buscemi as Wayne, David Spain as Griffin, but what about Dracula and Adam Sandler? Well, in the last part, it's not going to be Adam Sandler's voice voice as Drac, because he was replaced by Brian Hall. It was rumored that Adam had some scheduling conflicts and pay disputes over a reduced budget, but neither Sandler nor production studio Sony ever confirmed this. <laughs> However, speaking of the franchise, in one of his videos, Adam Sandler said he felt really sorry it's all over now. I don't like to admit that it's over. If we say it's done, we're just caving to Sony. I don't know, I miss it all. It's been such a fun thing to do. I'll miss the junkets. So, we don't know the official reason for Sandler's departure for sure, but we do know that Brian Hall absolutely nailed his mission. If you don't know anything about Brian Hall, well, he's a famous YouTuber with over 2.3 million subscribers. He rose to fame due to his videos of various animated characters singing Bohemian Rhapsody or Disney and Pixar characters singing Frozen's anthem, Let It Go. Of course, his career in big cinema has just begun, but we think that a really bright future awaits him in this field. Speaking of Dracula and its transformation, film directors Jennifer Kluska and Derek Dryman shared that giving a new voice to Dracula was actually a really great decision. Moreover, it helped to retool him as a result. The fact that Drac turns into a human was a good opportunity to do things a little different, Derek told Screen Rant. He could be a little different than he was in the movies and it would be natural, so it kind of was the perfect movie to have a person come in and fill those shoes. <laughs> So let's get into the story of Brian Hall's Dracula and his pack. The animated movie begins with the 125th anniversary of Jack's Hotel and the Count has a secret plan. He wants to retire and hand the business over to his daughter Mavis and technically to his son-in-law, Johnny, who happens to be a human. While Drac was communicating with his wife Erica about the matter, Mavis happened to overhear her dad's plan and reveals it to her hubby Johnny. But then Dracula decides he can give the hotel he's been been building for over a century to his irritating son-in-law, so he lies, telling he can estate down the hotel only to a monster. This situation really upsets Johnny, so he decides to ask the crazy professor Van Helsing for help. Johnny came to his lab and asked him to turn him into a monster to make Dracula respect him. Van Helsing showed Johnny his latest invention, the monsterfication ray, which can transform humans into monsters and vice versa. Nothing happened. Ugh. 
when Van Helsing uses the monstrification ray on Johnny and transforms him into an enormous dragon. But that is not the only transformation that happened there. In the ensuing chaos, Draculas turn into a balding, middle-aged, out-of-shape human, and almost all monsters become humans as well. But the biggest problem is they broke the monster gun and now our characters have to travel to an unnamed South American country to locate the magical gem that powers the broken monster gun. The journey to South America and through the rainforest is not just a fun adventure. It shows us the way Johnny started loving his new self and how he gradually discovers his monster powers. On the contrary, Draca gradually discovers his human limitations. There was a nice scene when Dracula revealed he learned to accept and love Johnny and said that he also learned that humans are like marshmallows, sweet on the inside, and that is why he sees Johnny as an important part of his family. Going through some difficulties and really interesting adventures, the human Drac pack finally finds a way to switch into their old selves before their transformations become permanent. I'm human again! <laughs> Being absolutely excited to turn back into their normal selves, our team makes their way to the hotel. When they reach the hotel, they realize it's all ruined. Gigi, their pet guinea pig, ruined the entire hotel. When he turned into a monster, Drac, being absolutely shocked, does his best to turn the guinea pig back into a pet. Of course, Dracula is devastated and upset to see his hotel turn to dust, and his situation makes him change his mind, so he lets Mavis and Johnny rebuild the hotel with their own vision. He also gives them the key to the hotel and the two are happier than ever. One year later, Mavis and Johnny rebuilt the hotel and now it looks absolutely similar. They invite Dracula to take a look at the new hotel and he's so happy to see that nothing has really changed. However, the pair upsets Drac by telling him that even though the hotel looks similar outside, it isn't exactly the same now. We can see on Dracula's face that he is shocked and even upset but when the Count enters the hotel, he sees that it's more colorful, vibrant, and fun. Dracula's 125-year-old vision was gone. The hotel now has a water park, spa center, and even a wellness center. First, it seemed like he was concerned and even confused, but before the titles, we can see that he is smiling. Speaking of the last scene, changed animation, it was shifted to 2D. It looks fresh and unexpected and highlights the fact that the hotel has changed for good now, and it would never be dark and old again. But what was the exact meaning of the ending? Is there any chance that the franchise might actually hinted to us that they are planning Hotel Transylvania 5 in the near future? Well, the ending does look like the directors just set another sequel up. Many fans think that it was the director's trick to hint to everyone that Hotel Transylvania is far from being over. Now it seems like the next film could probably be focused on Mavis and Johnny running the brand new hotel, and many experts and critics think that this plot could definitely shake up the dynamic going forward for the franchise. However, according to the official information, Hotel Transylvania 4 is the final movie in the franchise. In February 2019, Sony Pictures announced the fourth entry in the franchise. They might put Dracula into the background and focus on the line of Mavis and Johnny and make them the new leads. According to the latest film, Dracula actually accepted Johnny, so it could be a new character dynamic that could definitely be explained explored in sequels going forward. During one of the interviews, Jennifer Kleska said, Johnny is this lovable ball of energy and positivity that came into Drac's life in the first movie, and we sort of want to bring it all full circle and see where their relationship had gone over the course of these four movies and wrap that up. We hope Hotel Transylvania 5 is happening in the nearest future, and we will make sure to be the first to tell you about the news. Do you like Hotel Transylvania 4? Are you satisfied? with the ending? Or were you really expecting something else? Do you think the franchise is planning Hotel Transylvania 5 in the near future? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.